Dyad is a free local open source AI app builder. It's alternative to Lovable, Vio, Bolt, and Replit. You can install it on your computer. It works offline. Some benefits, it's private because you have to install it on your computer. So it works locally, it means all the code lives on your computer, opposed to Lovable where the code lives on Lovable server. And if you go to Lovable, you can see that there's a free plan. And the free plan gives you five daily credits. A day the credit renews every 24 hours for me i noticed that the five credit always renews every 1 a.m for lovable which is not enough but if you have diet you have to install diet on your own computer you know set up your own api and you use it forever for free that's one thing i like about diet view it also has a free plan free plan too is kind of limited if you look at both Boat also has a free plan. Free plan also has some limits, like you are limited to 150 tokens daily. That gives you that opportunity to use some of the free models that you can find on Open Router, be it Grok or other LMMs. I uh, will be trying that out today. If you go to builder.io, it's a, a kind of like what I use now. Um, it also has a free plan. And the free plan gives you 150 monthly agent credit. So that's why I am showing you how to set up Dyad on your computer. Use it for free. If you go to Kuso, which I use very well, Kuso is kind of different from Lovable Bolt because Kuso is an AI integrated into an IDE with the popular IDE you know, which is VS Code. That is it. So let's start. Uh, what we need to do is to go to Dyad. Message. You have to click download that from windows uh, once you've clicked on this which i've already done you can see i tried downloading it and that's it there so i've already downloaded my you need to click that to download it for your computer if you're if you're on mac it automatically dictates that you're on mac and you can click this button here so once you've downloaded the installer that's the dot ese file you can click directly from here this is strange but i'm getting this message like Windows protected or PC. Don't worry about this. You can just click on to run for now. For now, let me try it again and see if it will run again. You may not actually get this uh, same experience. So it's saying that check your internet connection. Uh, Microsoft Defender Smart Screen on which table can't help you uh, and decide if this app is okay. It says run or don't run. So this time around, I'm getting run. So I have to run it anyway. That's for me. You may not get this warning, but if you do get that warning, you can just, you know, close it and just try to run it again because I've tried that on my other computer and I see that it works. And that's the creator there. It's created by Will Chen. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but Will, thank you so much for providing us that. That's why open source is really amazing. This is the GitHub repository for Dyad. Uh, I think at the very first time I checked out Dyad, um, it was just around k stars, but this is now 14,000 stars. You can grab the source code, try it out, try to make some changes. That's why it's safe to download Dyad since it's open source. So you can just install that. After running through the installation, you get this message showing you that we are on the latest version 0.2. 20.0 so that's the latest version for now and we need to set up that so we can run it with our lmm it says there's a requirement which you need to have on your computer you need to install node.js on your computer so you can do that by going to node.js and this is what you are looking for node.js.org you can click on that link just to install node.js so you need node.js running on your computer before you can use that that means you need to install it not necessarily running but just make sure that you install node.js on your computer so if you go to node.js.org you can install node.js so you can click on get node.js download the installer okay so once you download the installer you install it on your computer and that's all you need to do but if you are using mac i think it will detect it automatically for you download it for your operating system or you can just come here and select mac os or if you are using linux select linux version once you start your diet you should see that this place is ticked it means you have node.js installed on your computer to confirm if you have node.js installed then you need to run node-version 
you should get the version of Node.js uh, you've installed on your computer or running on, on your computer. So for me, I have Node.js version 22.18.0. Make sure that you install Node.js, then try to run this check to confirm that you have Node.js running on your computer. Once you restart that after installing Node.js, you should see um, that this area is already checked that you have Node.js installed. So the next thing you need to have, which is the last setup, is AI model. For this, you can grab one from Open Router. Let's just click this. On the settings tab, you have like general, if you want light mode, dark mode. I prefer the dark mode. Another way to go here, like I said, is to click on settings, then scroll down to AI providers. That's where you set up the AI providers that you want to build your application. One of the models that we'll be trying to use is the Quill 3 coder, which is very popular around coding agents. You can get that from Open Router, and that's what we are going to do. If I happen to grab an API from Open Router and add it to Dyad now, it means I have access to Quill 3 coder by default from Open Router, DeepSeek, Kimi, and you can also add custom. Uh, models if you want you just need to grab the model id from open router the name of the model description you can set up the mass output or if you, you can just leave that as optional point and just click on add model so, so what we are going to do now is um, if you visit router.ai you can just search for that on google you just visit the page you click on models it's one api key i have access to all the models available here including the free ones you can just click on your profile, go to keys. As you can see, I have two keys here, uh, two API keys here already. So you can just create a free one. I will name this Diet API key. Once I click that, that's the API key there. I'll just copy it. You have to go back to your Diet, then you, you go to API key from settings, then you go to set open router API key. And just right here, you can paste your API key here and click on save. So once you've done that, you've activated the models, uh, this Queen 3 coder model, Deep 6 V3, Kimi, and Deep 6. So let's test this out. So I'll go back now. I'll go to apps. It's set to auto at this point. So by default, uh, Dyad automatically suggests the models to use. But you can come here and select particular one so i'm going to use like print recorder you can import an app an existing app so once you click there you can import an existing app from the folder or you can start a new project so i'm going to start a new project build me a music website that allows users to add their fifth song to their playlist uh, playlist you can share the playlist a friend on social media use a very unique design that is artistic and kind of fit music lovers let me just leave it like that for now i'll just hit send so let's see if you click on publish you can publish to github you can publish to vessel okay github required, github required for vessel deployment so for this vessel deployment you need to connect there to your github if you have a github account by clicking connect to github okay and if you click configuration this is where you can add like environment variables which is also good for your application your application will be referencing to your environment variable by using process.env okay if you want to see the code that has been generated you can click code tab here you can also see problems and you can see preview sorry there was an error from the ai field after three attempts let's try again and now it's actually building it out so i don't know why it failed initially but i think it's working now so it's using queen 3 coder now my api okay so that's that's how it works okay i need to approve this that's what i'm about diary. and there's a live preview here for you so to just test the application some other things I can show you, if you go to Hub, you can just create a React template or you can start with a Next.js template. So it's a cool, it's a cool application. Oh, they've also added view. 
the valid angular so create a chrome extension in dyad it's really great you can integrate new database directly from dyad you can also integrate super base as well if you want to go back to your project you can go to apps and click on your project again and right just before you open your project you will see connect to super base here meaning you can connect your app to your super base but i just want to open the chart so i can see what it has built out for me so it's saying i need to approve this again i need to reload this so that is it you can actually view this on the browser yes so i'll just click that now yeah so you can view it on your default browser melodify that's the name <laughs> create your perfect playlist and share the music you love with friends you can click here to add to playlist and this is just what we described if i want to continue working on this project I might be tempted to do that if i if i continue working on this i can have an api that gives me free music you know and I'll just use that here. I can tell Dyad to do that. I just wanted to show you how to set up Dyad on your computer and work with it. Wow, this is cool. Share this on WhatsApp or Facebook. Okay, so one thing you can also do on Dyad, which is similar to Lovable, is that you can click on version and you know go back to the previous version you were working on. If you've used like Lovable, Bolt, VO3, you know how to use Dyad. It's quite similar. And it's local and it's free to use um you don't have any excuse at this point if you are looking for a free ai coding assistant to work with or agent to use you can try dyad if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like the video subscribe bye